So basically, if you want a natural hairline, you're going to do this first. You're going to make sure that they're not close. This is what you don't want to do. This is what you don't want to do. You don't want to do this. First of all, it's not going to come out natural and all it's going to do is you're going to get tired you're going to get tired really quick because you're doing so close together you want it to be spaced out you don't want too close right so we're going to continue with the way you're supposed to do it and i'll do a little more towards the back so that you guys can see what a natural hairline looks like It feels a little different on a mannequin than a real head, but it's close enough. You can try on melons. Melons are really good to practice on. They feel more like a real head than the mannequin. Okay. Now I'm only doing this little piece, right? In a normal, a real procedure, obviously you work the whole thing, you won't just work a little area. But this is what we do now, right? To get this natural hairline, I wanna do a few more here. You can go over the line just a bit, right? But then back here where I kinda just drew the second line is where you really go in. And you're going to do the first, the first dots, the first hand all over. And then you're going to come back and you're going to fill in more, but you're not going to fill in towards the front because you want that natural. You can even do a few here like this, like nothing too much because you want a natural hairline. And then you want to keep filling in and creating more density towards the back not the front nice and filled and it looks like the smooth transition session should look right so you you go over the whole head you want it something like this you don't want it too close you want something like this kind of just do a little pattern i like to do triangles kind of like you know triangle triangle just kind of follow that and you can look and see what you want it's supposed to look something like this and then like i said if you're going to do a natural hairline you won't fill in here again you're going to come in and you're going to fill in somewhere around here you're going to start so you're going to leave that and then you're going to fill in come your second session now your second go around and then you go around here and you fill it up so basically here we've gone over this twice and we left a little bit of area in the front so that it looks natural in the end now i'm going to go over a third session which is usually three sessions per head here i'm going to do the third session here and then we're going to look at what it would be as a final, as a final treatment. It's very important that whatever you're working, you rest your hand on the head that you're working on and you and you work this way you don't want to work like this you don't want to work like this you want to make sure you put your pressure here and this is how you're going to work and your hand won't get as tired it's very important that you don't go in too deep because if you go in too deep you'll get this big dots that here might not you know rather than 
you see even there you can see the difference you don't and on a real head it'll migrate so you'll have a big bubble a big circle and that's not what you want right so anyway let me finish this area and i'll show you guys in the end so this is what a natural hairline is supposed to look like and this was what i told you guys earlier not to do remember the depth is very important you don't want to go in too much or you have big dots all over instead of you know mimicking what a follicle should look like and then you can always go in and see where you want one or two remember it's um you'll do three times it'll be three different times you'll see this client it'll be three different sessions and you'll go over the head each time you create density and this is one of the biggest um secrets about this <laughs> the best way is is just creating density by going over and over and you do not want to do this you don't want to go in too deep